guys, it is me, April, of Disney Mom of Two, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different from my usual. Um, we are going to be doing a Marvel Universe tag. Marvel Character Universe tag. I am not the biggest, by biggest I mean have the most extensive knowledge of the Marvel Universe. I've just started getting into it. I, am, I used to really like X-Men as a child, but that's about where it stopped, childhood. <laughs> um, I have recently rewatched, rewatched, I have recently watched the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, Avenger movies, and a few others here and there, so I'm confident enough in my choices that I have written down. Um, to start off, this tag was created by Cat over at Perfectly Cat, and I was tagged by Melissa over at Geeking Out with Melly Mel. So I will link both of their channels in the description box below. So this is a short five question tag, but each question has kind of more than one part. So you'll see what I mean as we get started. So number one, top five Marvel character universe characters. Number one, Groot. I love Groot. I love all things Groot. Baby Groot is my favorite of the Groot forms. Uh, my second favorite character, and most of these are ranked from like my favorite to least favorite in my top five. My second favorite is Rocket the Raccoon. He is, excuse my French, but he's badass. He is awesome and just tells it like it is. My third is Iron Man for some of the same reasons as Rocket. He is got a big ego and isn't afraid of it. I like Tony Stark. I don't know if I like Tony Stark or Iron Man. I don't know, some people try to differentiate. He even says it in the second one, he is the suit. So, uh, four is Thor. Thor is, I don't know, he's a god, oh, he's a demigod, but he's a god. And oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Except, I don't wanna ruin a whole, I don't wanna spoil much, but I don't like Thor's attitude in the beginning of the end game. He's giving up, giving up life. I don't like it. And number five, I went with an X-Men character from my childhood. I loved Rogue. I remember just loving her whole storyline, her whole aesthetic, everything as a child. Obviously, I didn't know what aesthetic was as a child, but I liked Rogue. Question number two. I'm working this way, I have paper over here. Uh, top five Marvel Cinematic Universe bad guys. I'm not a bad guy person. So some of these are bad guys, but they're more good than bad. So <laughs> I put Nebula as my favorite. I really like her character transformation from the Guardians of the Galaxy movies to the Avenger movies and how she has changed and really has seen the flaws of Thanos. All day I've been calling Thanos Thor. Not the same. Uh, <laughs> number two is Loki. Um, I really like some of his humor. Again, if you're a funny character, I'm probably going to gravitate more towards you, um, which is probably why I like a lot of the supporting characters in other Disney movies. But Loki well, is number two. Uh, number three is Yondu. So there's a whole <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I've seen a whole debate whether he is a bad guy. He's a good guy. Because definitely towards the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, where he sacrifices himself. Spoiler. Sorry, didn't warn you. Um, he is definitely a good guy, and again, he's funny, he's witty, I like him. And his arrow, that's pretty cool. Uh, number four is another X-Men character, I chose Mystique. I remember really, really liking her as a kid, I rewatched just some scenes. I also love Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is probably one of my favorite actresses, I think she's really pretty, I think she does a really good job as Mystique. And I cannot imagine sitting in that makeup chair for as long as she did to be covered in blue and her hair red. I don't know. I like the shape shifting. This. <laughs> of Mystique. And number five is probably the only one true, true, well, Mystique kind of a bad guy, but the truest of true bad guys in my eyes, I put Thanos. And for that reason, he is. I, to me, you think of a bad guy, someone that wants to destroy the universe for his own twisted reason and then succeeds. <laughs> He's one of the few bad guys that I can 
really remember that actually succeeds in his goal. Question number three is top five MCU scenes. So again, if you haven't noticed, I really like the humor in the Marvel movies, um, which is probably why I enjoy them more as an adult than I did teenage young adult. Um, but number one favorite scene is in the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout when Baby Groot is dancing. He is the cutest thing, and I love how he gets mad and Drax runs into him and the little creature and he rides it. But he's just love and high. He's Baby Groot. <laughs> that is honestly probably what sold me on continuing to watch more Marvel movies is that scene. <laughs> because it was cute. It appealed to, to that side of me. <laughs> so, scene, my favorite scene number two is an Iron Man scene. There's when Captain America is questioning what are you underneath that mask? And he just rattles off genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. Honestly, I like both scenes where he's all like, yep, this is my ego, this is what I come with. Bam. <laughs> I really like that of Mr. Stark. Stark introduced. Another character quirk that I really like is one of Rockets. So my third favorite scene is when, I don't remember what they're building, but he's like, yeah, I need this, this, and that guy's eye. <laughs> because when they're trying to escape the prison, he convinces Quill that he needs that guy's um, prosthetic leg to, <laughs> to build this machine to get out of the prison. <laughs> so I just think it's funny that it continues and that's like a little joke and a little quirk of Rockets is I'm gonna try and get people's extra body parts. <laughs> my favorite, my fourth favorite scene is the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy where uh, Peter is uh, singing his song and he's got the little monsters and he's dancing and he's just in it like kicking their ass and it's a good scene. And then my final favorite scene, my fifth, isn't a funny scene. It is a very serious scene and this is the end. If you can't tell, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite movies. Um, <laughs> it's at the very end of that movie is when they all realize that the ship is going to crash and they're going to die. Um, and Groot surround, makes himself giant and like makes all the limbs and he says something besides I'm Groot. He says, we are Groot. He crashes and sacrifices himself. And it's, a very, it's a sad scene because you're like, no! Okay, final question. My top five favorite MCU movies. So, if you can't tell, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 is number one. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is number two. <laughs> um, Avengers Infinity War is number three. I think out of all the Avengers, that is my favorite one. It is the most action-packed. It has, you know, some great lines. It's got lots of, I think it's got something for everyone in that movie. Um, my fourth favorite, I put Iron Man 2. I have not watched Iron Man 3 yet. It will probably be watched tonight or tomorrow. So, that is number four. Um, okay, number five, I'm gonna go with Captain America uh, Civil War. I do remember, I have watched that one before. It has been a few years. I really, really liked it. I used to, I forgot. Actually, this is triggering a whole memory for me. I used to be obsessed with Captain America. I thought Chris Evans was cute. Uh, so now seeing Infinity War, I disagree. Shame the beard. Uh, <laughs> that is it for my Marvel Cinematic Universe tag. Thank you so much again to Melissa for tagging me. I'm just going to be tagging one person because he's the only person that I know that really, really likes Marvel. And I honestly don't like tagging people because then I feel like they're, they feel obligated to uh, finish, do this tag. And I know Marvel is not for everyone, but Nico, the references and the Sith. I feel like Marvel. Tag! You're it. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>